Our solar system is being visited by giants. We know about the interstellar object 3I Atlas, which baffled scientists. Now, another object, Comet Swan, has arrived. But the thing nobody tells you is that this new comet is the key. It comes from our own backyard, and its trajectory is completely different from Atlas's. This crucial detail proves visitors like 3I Atlas are not random. They are a category all their own, a group so strange that some now believe they are not visitors but sentinels. A cosmic coincidence? The story of our solar system's current mystery begins not with one visitor, but two. First, there was the giant. An object designated 3I Atlas, a behemoth seven miles wide, detected hurtling in from the blackness between the stars. It was the third known interstellar visitor, and by far the largest and most imposing. Its path was strange, its origins unknown, and it immediately became one of the most scrutinized objects in the sky. While astronomers were trying to make sense of this cosmic monster, a second visitor appeared. On September 11th, 2025, a faint glow was spotted. It was a new comet, C2025R2, nicknamed Comet Swan. At first glance, the two events seem possibly related. Many people are crazy about the idea of cosmic families, of objects traveling together through space. Perhaps some thought, three, I, Atlas, and Comet Swan were siblings, fragments of a much larger body that had broken apart somewhere in deep space. It was a comforting theory, one that would bring order to the chaos. But not all things are what they seem. When astronomers traced their paths backward, they uncovered a startling truth. Comet Swan was one of ours. It came from the Oort Cloud, a vast ghostly sphere of trillions of icy bodies that surrounds our solar system. Its journey was a slow, multi-million year fall from the edge of our sun's gravitational kingdom. It was a native, a messenger from our own ancient past. Three, I, Atlas, however, was an outsider, an alien. Its trajectory proved it came from interstellar space, unbound to our sun. The two objects had originated from completely different parts of the sky. To put it mildly, they were total strangers. This single fact demolished the theory they were related. But in doing so, it created a far deeper and more disturbing mystery. You see, Comet Swan, by being so perfectly predictably normal, became the ultimate control group. It showed what a natural long period comet from our own system looks like and how it behaves. Its path, inclined at 111 degrees, was exactly what you'd expect from an Oort cloud object, and its normality provided a stark, terrifying contrast to the profound weirdness of 3I Atlas. The question was no longer, are they related? The question became, why is 3I Atlas so different? The thing nobody tells you is that the arrival of Comet Swan was the worst possible news for anyone hoping for a simple natural explanation for 3I Atlas. It drew a line in the cosmic sand. On one side, you have the predictable, understandable wanderers from our own system, like Swan. On the other, you have the interstellar visitors. And the more we look at them, the less natural they seem. Swan was the key that unlocked the cage, revealing the true, bizarre nature of the beast that is 3I Atlas. A pattern in the dark. To grasp the sheer strangeness of 3I Atlas, you have to understand our motion through the galaxy. Our sun isn't fixed in space, it's moving at over half a million miles per hour, dragging the planets along with it. The nearby stars are all moving too, in a great swirling river of stars. The average speed and direction of this river is called the Local Standard of Rest, or LSR. It's the galactic background flow. Logically, any object wandering in from another star system, like 3I Atlas, should have its own random motion. It should be like a boat crossing a river, moving at its own speed and angle relative to the current. But that's not what we see. The first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, was bizarrely found to be almost perfectly still relative to this galactic river, a one in a thousand coincidence. The second, 2I Borisov, showed the same impossible trait. Then came 3I Atlas. When astronomers calculated its galactic trajectory, they found the same thing. Only this time it was even more shocking. A seven mile wide object, a true monster of the cosmos, was also essentially parked. With respect to the local stars, it was like finding a mountain floating motionless in the middle of a raging river. The odds of three interstellar visitors in a row sharing this vanishingly rare property by chance are millions to one against. It's a pattern that screams for an explanation. This is where the true importance of Comet Swan comes into focus. For a moment, scientists wondered if this LSR rest frame was some new, misunderstood law of physics that affected all comets. But Swan shattered that hope. 
as an object from our own Oort cloud, born and raised with our sun. Its motion is completely different. It travels with our sun, part of our system's momentum. It is not at rest with the LSR. Comet Swan's perfectly normal movement proves that this strange, stationary behavior is unique to the interstellar visitors. What many overlooked is that this makes the case of 3i Atlas terrifying. It is the largest, most recent, and most blatant example of this unnatural pattern. It's not just a rock. It's a statistical impossibility. The arrival of Comet Swan stripped away all the easy explanations. We can no longer say, maybe all comets do this. We now know for a fact they don't. Swan, our homegrown comet, has shown us what nature looks like. And 3i Atlas, the giant from the void, looks nothing like it. The interstellar objects aren't a random group, they're a fleet. The Galactic Breadcrumbs This glaring anomaly has led to a controversial and chilling hypothesis from Avi Loeb, the former head of astronomy at Harvard University. He argues that we are not looking at a coincidence at all, we are looking at a clue, and his warning is stark. If the giant object 3i Atlas is what he thinks it is, then our understanding of the universe is about to be shattered. Loeb's reasoning is grounded in simple logic. If a highly advanced civilization wanted to create a network of objects across the galaxy, probes, sensors, or navigational markers, how would they do it? They would place them in a fixed, predictable position so they could always be found. In a moving galaxy, the only fixed position is one that is stationary relative to the local stars, the local standard of rest. Loeb proposes that 3i Atlas, along with Oumuamua and Borisov, are precisely that. Pieces of extraterrestrial technology. Their impossible motion isn't a bug, it's a feature. It's a sign of deliberate engineering. You see, this theory elegantly explains all the weirdness. It explains Oumuamua's strange acceleration. And it perfectly explains why three objects in a row would share the same statistically impossible orbit. They aren't random visitors that just happen to be parked in space. They were placed there. Our solar system is simply drifting through a region of space where these buoys have been deployed. The arrival of Comet Swan, our simple Oort cloud comet, is the final piece of the puzzle. Imagine the chilling moment an astronomer pulls up two orbital plots. One, for Swan, shows a normal, predictable path from our own cosmic backyard. The other, for 3i Atlas, shows a trajectory so statistically impossible it might as well be a ghost. By having a totally normal galactic motion, Swan acts as the definitive proof that the interstellar objects are a special class. It separates the natural noise from what could be an artificial signal. The thing is, this makes 3i Atlas the most terrifying object in the solar system. It's a seven mile wide anomaly. If it's a piece of technology, it is a megastructure. We're not talking about a tiny probe. This is an object on the scale of a city, and it is behaving in a way that suggests it is not natural. A city-sized object doesn't just wander between stars by accident, it travels with intent. We've been staring at a giant from another star system, assuming it's a dead rock, when it might be a piece of functioning advanced technology. This is why Avi Loeb argues that we should be sending a mission to 3i Atlas immediately. We should be studying it with every instrument we have, because this isn't just another comet. This is a once-in-a-civilization opportunity that is currently slipping through our fingers. Every single day, 3i Atlas travels more than a million miles, getting further and further away. If Loeb is right, it would be the single most important discovery in all of human history, and we are letting it sail right through our cosmic front yard without so much as a second look. If they are probes, what are they watching? A new cosmic perspective. So what does it mean if an object as massive as 3i Atlas is artificial? People watching this are looking for a mystery, for a sign that we're not alone. But the truth may be far stranger and more subtle than we ever imagined. This isn't a prophecy of doom, it is a fire drill for our entire worldview, a test we have been unknowingly failing for years. The sobering reality is that we are not prepared for this. The discovery wouldn't come with a flash of light or a message from the stars. It wouldn't be an invasion. It would be the quiet, cold, mathematical certainty that a seven mile wide object currently coasting through our solar system was engineered by a non-human intelligence. The thing is, many people are crazy about the idea of a grand reveal, but the evidence for 3i Atlas would be a whisper, not a shout. It would be a series of numbers on a screen that show its probability of being a natural object is so close to zero that it becomes a statistical absurdity. That is a kind of truth our society is simply not equipped to handle. Our entire civilization, every belief system, every political structure 
is built on the foundational assumption that this planet is ours and we are the sole intelligence in this cosmic neighborhood. The confirmation that 3i Atlas is an artifact would be like discovering that our home was built and is being monitored by an unseen landlord who has never bothered to speak to us. We would be tenants in our own solar system. This would force us to reevaluate our place in the cosmos on a fundamental level. You see, an artificial object the size of 3i Atlas is not a simple probe. It's a megastructure. The level of technology required to build and move an object that large, likely for millions of years, is so far beyond our own capabilities that it is essentially magic. It suggests we are not just one civilization among many equals. It suggests we might be cosmic toddlers who have just stumbled into a universe run by adults. Are we ready for that kind of existential shock? What happens to our religions, our governments, and our sense of purpose? when faced with the undeniable truth that we are, by a wide margin, not the most advanced intelligence around. The day after such a confirmation, the world would be unrecognizable. Global markets would likely collapse under the sheer weight of the uncertainty. Militaries would be on their highest alert, trying to answer an impossible question. Is this seven mile wide, silent giant a threat? A tool? Or utterly indifferent to our existence? The sheer power implied by the existence of three I Atlas would make all human power structures seem like children's toys. What many have overlooked is that this isn't a new development. These objects could have been silently passing through our system for millions of years. It is our technology that has just now, in the last decade, become sensitive enough to spot them. We have just opened our eyes for the first time. This is a quiet discovery, a slow motion revelation unfolding in the complex orbital data being collected by our most powerful telescopes. It's a truth being pieced together by a small number of scientists who are now grappling with the weight of carrying the biggest secret in human history. And the accidental star of this revelation is Comet Swan. Its simple, natural journey from our own Oort cloud was the catalyst. It wasn't the mystery itself. It was the key that unlocked the mystery of 3i Atlas. Before Swan, one could argue that maybe all interstellar visitors were just naturally weird. There was plausible deniability. But Swan, by being so perfectly boringly normal, slammed that door shut forever. It was the control group that proved the test subjects were truly different. Its natural path proved that 3i Atlas and its interstellar brethren are profoundly abnormal, following a pattern that defies nature and points directly toward intelligent design. Is 3i Atlas a natural wonder or an alien megastructure? Has a simple comet just revealed the biggest secret in history? Let us know what you think in the comments. For more on the universe's greatest mysteries, make sure to like and subscribe.